All right, so this exercise here didn't really tell us what is the actual outputs at the end of the season. What we're doing here is just putting together a flexible budget on different levels of sales. Okay, so remember this is the definition of flexible budget compared to static budget. It's expanded to either lower level of sales or a higher level of sales, and then we break down expenses to variable to fixed at the end we want to get an operating income. So the first step would be understanding what is the unit price that we expect to sell, and then what is the cost of vari variable expenses for each unit that we're selling, what is fixed expenses here. So fixed cost here should be the same for both type of sales, sales level, because if it doesn't specify that we're bumping into another relevant range, we can assume that fixed expense is the same level. Okay, variable expenses flows with sales, so the more we sell, the more variable expenses will occur. The more we sell, the more sales revenue occurs. Okay, so overall the table should show, the flexible budget shows that at a certain level of sales price, at a certain level of variable expenses, but at different sales volume levels, what's the overall operating income that we're getting? Okay, so just use $19 for each unit times 4,000 units. $19 times 7,000 units, you get sales revenue. Variable expenses, $8 times 4,000, $8 times 7,000 units. And subtracting that from sales revenue, you can get contribution margin. And fixed expenses are the same, operating income. Okay, so again, what is this useful for? At the end of the month, once we get the actual results, this is a simple flexible budget that only breaks down to two levels. But let's just assume that we actually sell 7,000 units. Then we'll be referring to a flexible budget, pull just the 7,000 column, put it in the middle, compare at 7,000 level of sales outputs. This is supposedly, theoretically, what should happen. But if at the end, the actual result is not $62,000 operating income, then you know that there's some, something different from what we plan, especially in the variable expenses and fixed expenses part. Okay, so that's what this is useful for. At the end, we select a certain level, put it in the middle here. So it's not just about comparing static and actual. We want to know specifically, is it because of sales volume differences, or is it because of the variable expenses that you spend on each unit, or fixed expenses? questions so far? Now next section we'll be going into more details on this part here. So not just about sales volume differences, this part is quite easy. Flexible budget variance will be breaking it down to the price that we actually assign to the products and also is the materials that we use actually the same level as we expected or we spent more materials on producing some of the products. So some of the variance will come from unit costs that we assign to the products. Some of the variance will come from the number of, the amount of materials that actually flows into the product. That variance is, is it different from what we planned. So before